Hello guys, welcome back to my channel. Hope you are doing good. Today we are going to see what is email account in Pega, how to create it and what are the different protocols that are supported by Pega in email account. I am happy for all those people who are subscribed to my channel and I request others also to subscribe my channel as it is for free of course and it's just click. So let's get started into the topic. So first email account. Email account where we can see in Pega. So we know that it is one of the integration. So under records, if you scroll to integration resources, email account you can check here. Okay, these are the email account instances. So class of email account is data hyphen email hyphen account. So with this email account, we can configure two things sending an email and receiving an email when we have booked a train ticket or movie ticket we would be getting an email uh, saying that uh, this transaction has been done okay that is sending an. and uh, receiving an email is suppose you have a problem and you are emailing to the customer care that i have so once a problem this is my reference number so pega can consume that email that has been sent by the customer uh, to some email id and uh, the respect to uh, email instance can be saved in Pega and we can create a case for that that is a uh, different concept so this email account we can convert to things so first for sending email the you know right uh, we have different uh, protocols in Pega for sending an email it supports SMTP which is simple mail transfer protocol it's a communication protocol that enables us to send and uh, receive the emails and uh, normally an email account for that we have to give a port id also so default is 465 and we can use 585 also if tls encryption if you want to use so for receiving uh, pega email account uh, rule gives us two options one is imap another is pop3 so imap and pop3 are uh, email protocols used to access and manage emails on remote servers whereas imap uh, enables us uh, with uh, advanced email management so we can have uh, synchronization across numerous devices but uh, pop3 is better suited for configuration where only from a single device uh, user can access an email so in this video for our example i'm using uh, gmail so gmail supports imap so i have given uh, imap only going to the rule as a thumb rule normally uh, we would be having cases so you would be in your application you would be having different cases so there might be a scenario right uh, for this particular uh, case type email should be sending from uh, kvc at the rate email.com so for another case it should be from def at the rate email.com so there would be uh, a scenario where your application is uh, developed with different case types and it handles different functionalities so how can we achieve that is create email account specific to your case uh, class so suppose here i have work hyphen ca capture account information for this i can create an email account and if you have another case type ideation so org theme cosmos work hyphen ideation you can create an another email account so whenever uh, you want to send an email to the end users while uh, customer is traversing through this capture account information email would be going from the respective email account attached to that uh, case okay for our example, I have created a case type ORG theme cosmos work. This is the work layer. So I did not have a requirement to create a specific case type. So that's why I have created a rule ORG notify. So as I, we are sending an email, I'm uh, defining it separately as notify on this rule set. So what are the options we have in email account? we have different email providers like apache uh, james custom google gmail lotus uh, microsoft exchange 2007 2010 microsoft 365 yahoo outlook so based on your uh, infrastructure and based on your needs you configure uh, the respective email provider so as uh, learn with krishna gmail.com is uh, related to google i have selected as google gmail 
okay now you have to select what is a protocol this is smtp protocol next uh, you have to give email address okay so this is the actual email address and display name so once email is sent to the user uh, instead of email they can see the display name that we can see in another video shortly so these are authentication so if you have OAuth token you can select that and you can select authentication profile for my purpose i have given username and password this user id is uh, my gmail account user id password is not my gmail account password so i have already explained you in one of the video how we can uh, set up uh, this uh, gmail authentication you can check that and uh, for just for exploring google account under google account if you go to security you can add app passwords here i have given as pega and then when you click submit some new password will be generated that password you have to come and give there okay and this is reply to this same and this is a host this is default smtp.gmail.com so whenever you select here uh, email provided it would be automatically loading this for example now i'm changing this smtp see offer outlook smtp mail dot uh, outlook dot com so this you no need to worry about host and uh, port number and this is uh, like whether to use secure connection or not i have used secure connection okay and uh, this is uh, ssl version here we have many options i have selected default one and uh, in your project if you have trust store uh, to make sure that emails are not uh, encrypted by any hackers or something you can use some uh, trust store and if you have any message signing key store and alias you can give here as well and this is advanced where you can add more keys and this is receiver so in receiver i have used imap why because uh, gmail supports it so as the receiving also needs to be handled with the same email id i have given that suppose if you want to handle like a different email id for uh, receiving you can check the, the uncheck this and you can use your username and password and again this password is we that uh, i have generated from google account this is host this is port so make sure that port number while uh, sending email id is different from port number that we are receiving okay so once you have configured uh, this particular email account update your register tab based on your needs and click on test connectivity so here you can see status is good so this test connectivity what does it do is it uh, tries to connect to the server and it tries to disconnect from the server so both the things it will check whether it is proper or not from email server and you can see everything is success over here and this is response data it is an accepted response data and debugging information suppose if you have any errors it it would be very useful for us to see what uh, is making us not to connect so suppose if you have a requirement only for sending you just configure sender no need to uh, configure receiver it's not a thumb rule like we have to configure both the things and uh, you have to do test connectivity for both sending and receiving okay and uh, once uh, this email account is created you can go to your case type and uh, in your case type under settings you can define this also suppose you have a requirement like uh, through email some email, you want to create a case in that scenarios you can specify that email account here and you can click on this enable email listener so email listener will be enabled so whenever uh, an email has been triggered to this respective email id case can be instantiated from here and another thing is you might be thinking what are these warnings so i have given these uh, values here hard coded right but pega is suggesting us to use this uh, particular uh, data page d underscore ps get application setting value you use this so that uh, these warnings can be removed hope you have learned about email account please go through my video on attachments in pega because attachments in pega 2 the video is coming in next week which is very useful and these two are interrelated with this uh, new video
thank you thanks for watching this video please do share like comment and click on bell icon for immediate notification when i have uploaded the video please share to your colleagues and peers who are interested in pedagogy